I'm here in sunny Edinburgh today, and we're going to do a reaction where we're actually going to burn glycerol. Now, glycerol, um, the molecule of glycerol looks a little bit like the molecule of um, glucose, or sugar. And that means that it has a lot of energy trapped within it, because you know, um, when you eat sugar, it can give you lots of energy. But as you can see, instead of being a white solid, glycerol is this sort of very gloopy liquid. Um, and what we're going to do today is instead of um, burning it in oxygen, like we usually do, we're going to use um, a different chemical called potassium permanganate. So I'm just going to make a pile of potassium permanganate here. There we go. add some of our glycerol and after we wait a while it should fire. Now this is quite a strange reaction because we're not actually having to use any flame to start this because um, you know if you have to usually set fire to something, you have to have a source of ignition like a, a match or a spark or something. And the reason why we can do this is because the potassium permanganate has lots and lots of oxygen trapped in it. Um, as well as having oxygen in it, it's got some manganese, which is a metal you need in your body for you to live, um, and also has some potassium in it, um, which, you, which you could tell because it had this nice purple flame. 